Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Erudit Space. I am Dr. Sumedhar Sumanti, and today we will discuss about the pulse set engine. In the previous lectures, we have discussed in details the turbojet engine, the turboprop engine, as well as the ramjet engine. The pulse set engine is actually a modification of the ramjet engine. All of us know that. in ramjet engine we do have the diffuser the combustion chamber and the nozzle we do not have a compression when it comes to your ramjet engine similarly in the pulse jet engine also we do not have a compression we do have the diffuser the combustion chamber and the discharge nozzle and apart from that we have a mechanically operated trapper blade grid which actually allows or restricts the air into the combustion chamber so let me first draw the schematic diagram of the pulse jet engine so this is the inlet pipe this is fuel this is the spark plug this one is the combustion chamber and this is the tail piece or you can call it your discharge nozzle this one is actually your diffuser and this one is you can call it your discharge nozzle so now we'll see how actually it operates first here is done into the system through this inlet pipe which is of course is your diffuser all of us know that diffuser is a smoothly running section which converts the kinetic energy into pressure energy and this type of compression is what we call your ram compression so first air is drawn into this and as the pressure is higher it actually opens the trapper valve grid and allows the air to enter into the combustion chamber in the combustion chamber fuel is supplied on continuous basis and you do have a spark plug and when it gives a spark the air that is drawn into the system in combination with the fuel combustion actually takes place and due to combustion there is increase in pressure and temperature huge amount of thermal energy is developed and as the pressure rises it actually closes the 
club and bar. And the burnt airfoil mixture having huge amount of pressure and temperature is made to pass through the discharge nozzle. All of us know that nozzle is a smoothly varying section which converts the pressure energy into kinetic energy. So the gas actually lifts the system with a very high velocity and this velocity is much higher than the velocity at which the air is entering the system. So as a reaction to this thrust is actually developed which helps in the motion of the engine. Another thing that you need to know the pulse jet engine cycle is close to the auto cycle unlike the other jet engines where it is close to the, the Brighton cycle. Another thing that there is a fundamental difference between the internal combustion engines and the pulse jet engine as far as the role of the spark plug is concerned. Because in all types of internal combustion engines, be it your spark ignition engine or your compression ignition engine, the function of the spark plug is to ignite the air fuel mixture. Here, spark plug actually helps in the initial burning of the fuel. But once it is operational, then the residual gases actually helps in combustion of the fuel. That means the residual gases left over actually ignite the fuel. As far as the pulse jet engine is concerned, one of the important thing about the pulse jet engine that unlike the ramp jet engine where it cannot develop thrust from the beginning, it requires a launching device. The pulse jet engine can develop thrust from the beginning itself. So that is one of the major advantages of the pulse jet engine over the ram jet engine for which it finds some more application. Now we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages as well as uses of the pulse jet engine. First it is very simple in construction. As far as the maintenance is concerned, it requires less maintenance because other than this clapper graph grid, it doesn't have any moving component, it doesn't have a compression. So for that reason, the maintenance is minimum. Compression is not present, so the problem of Maintaining the compression doesn't arise. I have also told you one of the major advantages is that as this is not like your ramjet engine, you can start the onset engine and from the beginning itself it can develop thrust. Of course, providing a launch, giving it a launching velocity improves its performance but it doesn't require a launching device which is mandatory in case of your ramjet engine. Although it has some advantages, it does have some disadvantages also. One of the major disadvantages is the short life of the clapper clap grid. You need to continuously change the clapper clap grid. So that causes some problem. And 
The thermal plug ring is also a mechanical component. So it has got its own frequency. And if its frequency matches with the frequency of the cycle, then the valve will never close. As a result, there will be no compression. The design of an effective diffuser, considering the aerodynamic design, is a big challenge. So that causes some problem. And for this, it does have a limited operating range. Another advantage which I have not mentioned while discussing the advantages is that it can use any type of liquid fuel. Even it can use gaseous fuel with some modification. So this actually finds application in German members and apart from that you can use the pulse jet engine for pilotless application and for aircraft missile launching etc. So I sincerely believe that today's lecture on pulse jet engine would be extremely useful in understanding the operation of the pulse jet engine and how the pulse jet engine is different from the ramjet engine. This actually completes a series of lectures on different jet engines. We have discussed in details the four important jet engines like turbojet engine, turboprop engine, ramjet engine and false jet engine. If you have any doubt related to this one or the other three types of jet engines we have discussed earlier, you may put questions so that I will try to answer. Thank you very much for showing your questions in watching this video. I would request you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so till now. I would request you to share this video with your friends and relatives to improve its visibility. Hope to see you soon for another lecture on my YouTube channel, Hero Space.